Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be doing my June favorites where I talk about my favorite beauty products that I tried out in the month of June. So if you want to see what they are, then just keep watching. <laughs> Hi guys, if you're new here, my name is Morgan. I'm a product knowledge enthusiast. I just love knowing anything and everything about all of the new makeup on the market and sharing my thoughts with you guys. And a quick look back at the month of June. It was a pretty big month for me. The beginning of June was a hot mess for me. It was the end of the school year. Things were crazy. And then about mid-June, I left teaching and I have been a full-time YouTuber for about two weeks now. It's been a little bit crazy to adjust to this. And I think what's made it more crazy is that I'm currently on vacation right now. So I had two weeks and then I had to pre-film for like eight days. So hopefully, when I get back things will calm down finally for July but anyways I mean out of this we tried a lot of really great makeup products this is quite a large favorites video for me usually I have like seven to ten products I have more than that this time but first let's get started with my channel of the month if you're new here I do like to feature a channel of the month that I have been watching just because I love YouTube I'm just as much of a viewer as you guys and this month my channel is going to be Emily's makeup bag I've been following her for about a month or two not too terribly long but I really enjoyed her content because she seems to be such a genuine makeup lover just somebody who is playing with makeup on camera if you're into that I think you will really enjoy her videos she also is a teacher so of course I do have a soft spot for teachers I mean there's not very many teachers on here who are in the beauty community so right away anytime I see another teacher it makes me really really happy that all aside she does all types of different videos she does unboxings she does hauls she does makeup reviews she tests all the new makeup pretty much the same content that I have here on my channel and it really is just a great channel to sit down and just hang out with somebody talk about makeup have somebody to talk to who loves makeup as much as we do so definitely check her out let her know that I sent you over and let's start getting into the beauty products so let's start off with foundation I have been wearing a foundation a lot this month and I've said this many times before so forgive me but I've really been into lighter coverage makeup as I feel like we all have especially with the current condition of my skin which has improved immensely and that has brought me back to an old favorite now this isn't super old but it is not a new release this is the it cosmetics your skin but better foundation and skincare and on the front of it there is the perfect Perfect word to describe this foundation it is water light it literally feels like you're putting water on your skin so I would say this gives a light medium coverage it can even be built up to medium but it literally is like water it feels like there is nothing on your skin so if you are looking for a really lightweight foundation this summer but you do want more coverage than say a tinted moisturizer I think this one is going to be a really good one for you you can't feel it on the skin and you can see I think with my eye makeup today I would have preferred something that did have a little bit more coverage but that's okay that it doesn't because this really looks like skin and it feels like skin so if you're looking for a product that gives a little bit of coverage but generally speaking looks like skin and feels like nothing this is going to be your go-to I really enjoy it I've been reaching for it a lot just to throw on some makeup make my skin look a little bit more even this has been really nice now this next one just because of the previous videos that I've been doing and I apologize this video is a little bit late just got caught up in a stream of videos but anyways, if you've been watching my videos, I've had the chance to talk about how much I've been loving this already. But it definitely has to go to the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener. Again today, I wish I was wearing something with a little bit more coverage, but I did want to show you it. And this is literally like the most versatile concealer ever. Now keep in mind, it's not going to give you full coverage. It's no chart shape tape. It really doesn't even give you hardly a medium coverage, but it just brightens everything up. 
it makes everything look a little bit more even and I just love the texture of it it's so lightweight again just like the foundation these two pair together really well for every day and I've been liking this because it looks really great with tinted moisturizers and skin tints lightweight foundations but it also really looks great on its own and it's very rare for me to find a concealer that I feel like can be worn on its own without matching it with a foundation or a powder foundation. So it blends in seamlessly with your natural skin while making you look more awake. I've been wearing this a lot when I go to do wedding makeup. If you don't know, I am a bridal makeup artist and most of the time I'm wearing a mask so I don't even bother with any face makeup. This does just fine just to cover the dark areas right here, maybe a little bit on the forehead. So it's so versatile and I have it's beautiful. The finish it actually is quite blurring. I highly, highly, highly recommend this concealer. I was not expecting to love this product so much, but the tone is just so beautiful. This is the Makeup by Mario Soft Sculpt Shaping Stick in Light Medium. And this was a pain in the butt to get because it never released on Sephora for like a week. So I had to create a separate order on the Makeup by Mario website. But anyways, totally worth the wait. So the way that it works, it's just a contour stick, but it's like the perfect color. I do not have a cream contour that I love the color more. It's neutral enough that it can sculpt, but it also does have a little bit of bronziness to it. And what's very unique about this product, this is the only product ever in makeup that I've actually preferred the brush that it came with. This has weird little dots at the bottom, which I think help push and massage the product into the skin. So this is a little bit of a stiffer formula. I think formulation wise it's not as creamy as I would like for it to be but because the color is so true on the skin and it actually adds a little bit of coverage as well. It's okay. It takes a little bit longer to push the product in but it does end up blending in seamlessly with the skin. So as far as time and quickness this isn't for you. It's gonna take a little bit of time but when this does blend out I love the color of it. It's absolutely beautiful. So I've been reaching for this a lot. I think it's fabulous. We have a lot of blushes. I feel like we've had a lot of blushes in a lot of videos because we've had a lot of blush releases. So the first one that we have here is the Jaclyn Cosmetics Cream to Powder Blush Stick. Honestly, this was not even on my radar. I picked up a set from her original launch. Was not expecting to be really blown away by this product, but I really was. First of all, I love this like rose gold packaging here. And it literally, it's just a blush stick. But what I was so impressed by is this really is a true cream to powder blush stick. Now, I have the shade Empress. I don't really like this color. I am tempted to purchase other colors. I just don't need other colors, but I want other colors because this is a bit bright for me, but I'm certainly able to make it work. I prefer to apply this by using the butt end of my sponge, putting it right against the product and then putting it onto my cheeks because it does carry a lot of pigment and this is a very bright color, but it blends into the skin really beautifully. It does not pull up the foundation at all. It doesn't move anything. It doesn't look weird. And then it really does dry down to be like a true powder. This actually actually is one of the few products that I really believe is a true cream to powder. Normally, I feel like they don't really actually turn to powder. This one does. It blends out beautifully. It's very easy to use and it does exactly what it's supposed to do. I really like it and I'm interested in purchasing more colors. And guys, just in general, you guys know I really just love blush. I love a bright pink blush. So I really feel like the Rouge Romance palette went there. This is the shade Rouge Affair. So this is a matte blush palette from Jaclyn Cosmetics, if you didn't know. And it's the bright pink one. She had a warm blush colored one, which I thought looked a little bit more wearable. I love pinks so much and pink blushes that I had to go for this. Now these two shades are a little bit crazy. For me, I'd have to use these as eyeshadows, but the four shades over here are absolutely stunning. The formula blends out really easily. I really enjoy the colors of it and I've just been reaching for it a lot you know I don't think it's an exceptional blush formula by any means but it does what it's supposed to do the colors are really fun and I've just reached for it a lot so that's why I'm putting it in here I just have felt inclined to grab for it not too long ago I was lucky enough to do a sponsorship with look fantastic and I got to pick out a few products from their website you guys really did seem to enjoy that video and in that video I discovered the Daniel Sandler watercolor liquid cheek color now there are a ton ton of colors on the website. This is the only one I have. The shade is Cherub. It is beautiful. Again, if you are into skin tint skimblers, 
any of those lightweight foundations, you are absolutely going to love this. It is like literal water with color in it. So I recommend to put it on your hand and then use your sponge and then pop it on. It gives such a natural flush to the cheek while still holding its color. The color is quite sheer. I don't know if it's just the color that I have. I'd be interested to see how the other colors apply to the cheek, but this just looks so beautiful. It looks like skin and adds pretty color. I don't know. I had just never heard of this brand and I really love this. I definitely am going to have to pick up more shades. It's that thing where I really don't need to pick up more shades. I don't need to add more makeup to my collection, but I'm just curious because I've really been enjoying this product. I don't know. And they're a decent price. They're they're not too bad so I recommend this. I've been using it a lot on my very light no makeup makeup days. Let's move on to highlighters. We have a couple just like that Daniel Sandler product. I also discovered this product in my Look Fantastic partnership and this is the Pixie Glowy Glossomer Duo in Subtle Sunrise. This is a product that I had been wanting for a really long time based on your guys' recommendations. So many of you guys told me to pick this up that this is one of the best highlighters and products in general that Pixie has and you guys were right. This really does have a skin-like finish when it blends into the skin, but it really does add a beautiful glow. You can't see the start and end point of the product. It just works itself in with the other products that you have on your face, and it's just an overall beautiful highlighter. I've really enjoyed reaching for this. In fact, I forgot to put an inner corner highlight on, so let me do that. I'm wearing the pink side today since I had more of a pinky look, so we're gonna boop. Beautiful. The next highlighter, I've also been using this a lot in my videos lately and mentioning it, but I really have been enjoying the Barbie and ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in Beach Party. It's my favorite thing from this collection, though this collection has some really nice bangers. I love the eyeshadow palette. I love the lip duos as well. Highly recommend looking into that collection, but I've been really enjoying this highlighter. It actually has a similar texture and finish to the Pixie, so I'm going to transfer everything I said from the Pixie over to here. This one is just a bit more spongier feeling if you're familiar with the Super Shock formula. It's more creamy like. That's the difference in texture here but I feel like the finish is really beautiful and because this is a bit more creamy sometimes you may benefit from using a sponge to apply this but again it gives that really skin-like finish where it blends in with all the other products so on and so forth. So I feel like just because I've been wearing makeup more, I've also been having a lot of days where I get to just throw on a really light, natural, no makeup makeup look, which I've been truly enjoying. It's something that I never really got the chance to do before. And one of the products that I've been using for those no makeup makeup looks, you know, the Daniel Sandler I've been using a lot, the Fenty I've been using a lot, the It I've been using a lot. Here's another one. This is the Kajo Play Bento Blush and Bronzer Trio. They have three shades. Lately, I've only been using this one. This is Butter Up. So how they work, if you aren't familiar with the packaging, is there's three layers. I don't know that I love the way that they layered these. I think their placement's a bit weird, but whatever. We have the highlight, and then at the very bottom is a cream bronzer. Now, this is a really light color. I think typically I prefer the deeper, more medium shade but when I do no makeup makeup it's so light I don't want the color to be too dark or too vibrant on my face which is why this is perfect I just think this is a solid formulation you know there's the highlighter isn't amazing the blush isn't amazing the cream bronzer is just fine they just work great and they're very convenient it's just something that you don't have to think about so I've been grabbing for it a lot just to throw on because it had everything that I needed in one so that's why I've been reaching for it a lot and it's just it's so cute I really recommend these they're awesome I have one I brow product to share with you guys and that is the Ulta Beauty Brow Gel in clear. This I don't even know how it ended up in my collection. I made an order on Ulta a few months ago and this found its way into my bag. I think it was like a gift with purchase but anyways I really love the way that it holds my brows. It sticks them down all day and the spoolie is really great because it separates the brow hairs which makes my eyebrows look more full. I don't know I just feel like this is the perfect finishing piece to my eyebrows it just makes them look better so I've been reaching for it a lot and most importantly it is affordable and my brows really do last all day we had three well more than three but we had a lot of fabulous palettes come out this month my palette rankings for this month is gonna be intense I don't even want to start thinking about that but I'm actually filming that after this one so maybe I should start thinking about it I had to put a lot of palettes in here because I've just I've been loving them so let's 
start off with what I'm wearing. As you know, this month, Sydney Grace came out with their collaboration with Temptalia. If you want to see my thoughts on these swatches and a look, check out my most recent swatch and sip where I covered these. And I said I would update you guys. The update is I am loving them. I'm obsessed with them. I'm obsessed with the color choices. Now, I haven't used one of them yet. So I haven't gotten a chance to use On The Horizon, which looks stunning, but I will have to definitely do a look when I get back from vacation. I need to play with the blues. I'm dying to play with the blues. But Quintessence is my favorite, if you want to know the one that I would recommend to you guys the most. I just, ugh, it has the purples, it has the greens, it has the cool tones. This is the one that I recommend the most. I love it if you're into the kind of color stories that I'm into. But I'm wearing the Radiant Reflection right now, and this is arguably the most colorful one but I actually created a relatively wearable look I stuck to the more mauve tones on this side because I really wanted to try Temptalia because it's one of the most beautiful colors that I've ever seen and that is what I'm wearing on my eyes today I do have an Instagram reel coming if you want to see exactly how I created this look but you definitely can get wearable looks with this palette I could even tone this down if I wanted to the one con to these palettes is I felt like she did <laughs> she organized the colors in a way that you almost had to buy all three because they all kind of looked the same but different at the same time. I don't know. I wish you would have done it more monochromatically just to make it easier for the consumer, but I'm sure that was intentional. Regardless, whatever palette you end up with, you're going to love it. They're beautiful. The Sydney Craze quality is beautiful. The looks you're able to get with these are really just everything. So I've had a lot of fun with these lately. I've they're, they're great. And I haven't shut up about this one, so I'm, I'm going to keep this one super short. The ABH Norvina Volume 5. I'm a purple girl. I love purples. Everything about this is amazing. The color story, the neutral options, the variety in shades here, and finally the blendability, pigmentation, all of that spot on. By far one of my favorite palettes that ABH has ever come out with. It's amazing. Okay, I've talked about that one way too much, so we're going to move on. This one's not its way in but I actually reached for this quite a lot off camera the Patrick Ta major dimension eyeshadow palette I I wasn't too sure whether or not I did want to put this in this month's favorite because I mean it's not a special palette but at the end of the day even though you guys see me on camera wearing these crazy colors I'm a neutral girl you know if I'm off camera a lot of the times I'm grabbing for a palette that contains these colors and this is overall a solid neutral palette is it anything that you need no if you have have somewhat of a makeup collection you probably have these colors but it's the aesthetic you know you feel attracted to it you want to grab for it just because you know the exact look that you are going to get when you grab this and the, the look that I'm going for most of the time is a neutral brown maybe a little bit of sparklies I know if I want that look I'm gonna get it with this so it's been fun to play around with this I think the quality is solid I don't know I, I've just been reaching for it a lot you know you're not gonna get a bunch of different looks with this palette either it's not the most versatile in that way but it's just it's just something you grab for a lot you know and I've been grabbing for it a lot so that was all in the way of my makeup favorites I do have two beauty favorites I have a perfume and then I have a hair product so we'll start off with the perfume this was sent to me in PR and I've been wearing it a lot. It's from this company brand called Bon Perfumer Paris. <laughs> Oh my god, please don't make fun of my pronunciation. They are a French perfume company. All of their fragrances are made in France and they have a pretty good price range. So I have the shade 203 and this is beautiful. Not the shade, the scent. So here's what the bottle looks like. Very simple, clean looking. And the scent, so I guess the name is Frambois Vanille. They asked me what kind of scents I like. I like vanilla, kind of sweet smelling. I like gourmand scents so this was perfect what they sent me the notes are raspberry vanilla and blackberry and to me it smells like a mature vanilla i love it i've been wearing it every day it really is a beautiful fragrance. I don't think these are the longest lasting fragrances, so just keep that in mind. It doesn't stay on my skin the longest, mm, but it smells delicious, and I just, ugh, I love it. This is really beautiful. I definitely recommend checking out their perfumes. Their other scents sound wonderful, so I want to check those out. So I'm going to tell you a little something that I'm a little embarrassed about with my hair. Your girl has dandruff, okay? It's like it's a snowy mess up there, so... 
here's the thing. I have curly wavy hair. Typically my hair is drier because of that, because the oils, you know, it takes a lot to travel down to the bottom. So my hair is more dry. And because of that, I don't want to wash my hair too frequently. Also, I'm having a lot of hair falling out and it's freaking me out. So I'm trying not to get my hair wet. But anyways, I'm trying to train my hair to be able to not be washed as frequently. And it's giving me dandruff. And I was like, I gotta stop using my cheap shampoos. I need to fix this. So I placed an order on Sephora. I picked up some hair products. No update on dandruff shampoo yet. I'm trying to stay away from head and shoulders though head and shoulders works. It like strips your scalp off. It's not really good for you. So I'm using this Mizani brand. I'll keep you updated. I've only done a few washes. I still have dandruff. It's better but I still have dandruff. But this product I did have to share. My head, I'm like embarrassed to share this, gets itchy too. Like when my scalp is like dry, it needs a washing, it gets a little itchy and I'll itch my scalp in my sleep. And in my sleep, I'm like digging into the skin. It's not good. So <laughs> I found this product on the Sephora website. This is the Mizani Scalp Care. It's a calming scalp lotion and this, oh my God, it's a lifesaver. The other day I woke up literally scratching the bottom of my head, like scratching skin off. It was not good. And I, I don't know, I become a monster in my sleep. Anyways, it was like four in the morning. It woke me up. That's how hard I was scratching. I went to the bathroom. This is really watery. I put it right over the areas that I was scratching. Oh my gosh, instant relief. It was so soothing. It didn't take the itch away. I guess it kind of did because I stopped itching. So it did take the itch away, but it just, it soothed my scalp. It almost like felt like a minty sensation, but in a good way, it just, it felt fantastic on my scalp. So if you're having the same issues as me, this is a really fabulous product. It says that this works for dry scalp braids and extensions for those purposes. So if you need a calming scalp lotion, that was fabulous. I didn't even know those existed, but it made me feel great that other people have the same problem as me. <laughs> there we have it. Those are all of my beauty favorites for the month of June. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking this time to do so. And I would see you all in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.